X-Blades. Never heard about it before? Yeah, me neither. X-Blades came out in 2007 in surprisingly not Japan. That's right, a game with a main character that looks like this is not from Japan. <laughs> no. In fact, it came from good old Mother Russia, and was originally called Oniblade. It then came out to the rest of the world in 2009 under its new name, X-Blades. X-Blades story is... Um, to be honest, it's kinda shit. It centers around this thong-wearing asshole named Ayumi. Ayumi, why don't you tell us about yourself? I'm a treasure hunter. And frankly, I'm the best there is. About a year ago, I found a map of some ruins in a crumpled old book. Another empty city run down by the passage of time. But according to legend, hidden in the ruins was an artifact of incredible power. After a somewhat quick tutorial level, she finds the artifact guarded by a big ass lion dude. He's clearly just a nice guy trying to make sure that people don't die from this ancient power, but Ass Lady touches it anyways, and now she's possessed by an ancient evil. Great. Uh, there really isn't all that much more to say about the story. She meets a guy with shit voice acting. Are you alright? What was that? He then gets possessed by the cursed, then he becomes the final boss. The end. It's not great, but the terrible voice acting and weird ass cinematography kinda saves it. They say there's a powerful artifact containing the light power hidden in these mountains. There's an artifact of light? If it's really so powerful, it must be able to lift the curse. Curse? There's a curse on you? It seems so. I don't know where they found the voice actor for the friendly guy. But it sounds like they went to China, got some random ass guy off the street, held him at gunpoint with pages of dialogue and had him try to read it in English. What have you done? It's pretty great. When it comes to gameplay, I don't know where to start. It's kind of a hack and slash game where you hack and slash enemies. What? The gameplay basically boils down to go to area, kill all enemies, go to the next area, kill all enemies, etc. There are collectibles hidden around the stages that give you new abilities, but you don't really do much else than kill enemies. Ayumi does have a slightly varied moveset, but some moves, like say double jumping, is just frustrating. As the timing to pull it off is super precise, so I usually just ended up using the guns to glide through the air. Speaking of guns, you don't only hack and slash in this hack and slash, as you also have guns, but who cares, and magic! Magic is pretty overpowered. I mean, you start out with just a few spells, but you can buy more with the souls of your enemies. Though they get pretty fucking expensive. The magic is mandatory in many ways. Big enemies, or bosses I guess, can usually only be damaged by certain spells. This means spam that shit to win. However, you need rage to use spells, to make it less spammable. Rage is basically just mana, and you get it from slashing enemies, taking damage, pink crystals, or just buying it from the menu. So, uh, magic's pretty spammable. For instance, the final boss fight is a joke. You can't stop me. All you need to do is spam the light spell, buy more rage, spam the light spell some more, and boom, you're done. As for the ending, the game has two. A good, and a bad. The good ending has Thong Lady teaming up with the good guy, whilst the bad ending makes you buy overly expensive football equipment. And that was X-Blades. X-Blades is far from the best game I've played, but all in all, I wouldn't call it bad. The graphics are definitely a highlight, as it vaguely reminds me of Gravity Rush. But X-Blades is just too damn repetitive to be great. If anything, it's more of a guilty pleasure kind of game. But you know what? 
that's okay.